Oh Lord Jesus, if I can get this open. <laughs> ah! Okay, sorry. That was excessive. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another mukbang and it's from Panera. What do we have on it? What do we have? Open that bag. Let's see. We have a Caesar salad sauce on the side, please. With cucumber, cilantro, spinach, olive, and tomatoes. Oh, I got a quinoa uh, tomato blend on there. And a side of chips because I allotted 650 calories for my dinner, but I actually was told that my work was doing a um, cancer fundraiser at this Panera Bread. Um, my work was doing a cancer fundraiser at this Panera Bread, and that if I bought something from there, my proceeds, or part of my proceeds, would be going to the cancer foundation so what I did is I decided to go with the salad and so I just got I wanted a Caesar salad which Caesar salad there by the way is like seven bucks I've actually never had no I have had their Caesar salad at meetings at work oh Lord Jesus if I can get this open <laughs> ah! okay sorry that was excessive <laughs> my son's in the in the um in the bath right now playing that was excessive you guys so let's get a good look at that salad and then i got the red uh the tomato quinoa on there which you can kind of see right away and this whole salad with all the extras and the dressing is only 450 calories like i said for my day for my 1500 calorie daily limit monday through friday some of my hair. I budgeted in 650 calories. So I can side the chips. So 450 plus 150, 550. That's close enough. <laughs> close enough. Yum. So let's get y'all don't even know about me and my Caesar salad yet. I need all that dressing. Oh my god, I am such a liar. When I was pregnant, all I did was eat the Caesar salad from Panera and Tuscany Grill. Oh my goodness, it was the best. I love Caesar salad. If you guys know me, Caesar salad and Anna, I will always, 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 always get a Caesar salad. And like if there's a choice at a restaurant. And I plan like leadership <laughs> meetings for my work. And I kind of always make sure there's a Caesar salad uh, choice. <laughs> Because who doesn't love Caesar salad? Let me show you guys a trick. Let me show you a hack. Put your bowl lid thing back on and sh shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Do the salt and pepper shaker. Because we want that dressing everywhere, okay? Ooh. Oh my god! Oh! Now I can't get my tail on my lid. Just can't do it, you guys. Can't get it open. There we go. Here is our salad. Yum. That way we got that quinoa in there, too. I got Kalamata olives on it. Oh my gosh, look at this bite. Take a bite. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. That's the scissor. Mm. See, I think half of this salad proceeds went to the cancer. But I said, I normally don't order it from there unless I got a coupon. But if half of it's going to cancer, sure, why not? I like it anyway. Mm. You guys, I have to tell you this. What I saw on Facebook. 
So I actually run Facebook groups and I run like 11 of them and they're all local to me and they're like buy sell trade sites so like online garage sales almost and essentially people post and you can buy their items like go on and meet them like Craigslist and stuff just try not to get killed okay <laughs> mm. here's what I love it's actually like super popular in my city these online great shit sites so I run 11 of them like chances are if you're in my city you're in one of my groups and what I mean by run them I open them up said here's what you can post here's the rules drama gets kicked blah 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 okay so my biggest group is actually a buy sell trade review group that's where a group where you can go and rate your trade so if I traded with let's say candy cakes say candy cakes have posted this water and it wasn't open or nothing and I knew it was 68 cents at Walmart but she was selling them for 25 cents each right okay so I'd be like oh my god that's a deal I would be like candy I'm coming to get those uh how much do you want for them 25 cents each you got like six all right I'll take them so that's not 50 I had to count <laughs> I can't do that math in my head and so she'd be like okay well let's go meet up at you know at Kohl's in a public place uh, and I'll exchange that for you okay so I get there and I meet candy cakes oh my god that's like my dream <laughs> and she has the six waters I make sure that the seals aren't broken make sure they are what they seem there's no holes because it's water whatever use your best discretion I tell people people don't buy water on this site it's like furniture and clothes and stuff but it's still this is an example and I say, okay, it looks good. And I give her my dollar fifty. So then what I would do, because my transaction went really well with candy, is I'd go on my buy sell trade review site. And I have like a format that I want people to post in. And it's like, who are you? What who did you buy from or sell from? What is the item of sale or whatever? And then a description of how things went. And then, then people can post photos as long as there's no private information shared about that person. Like they can post their chat or whatever as long as there's no addresses or phone numbers or anything because you know you got your trolls on the internet. Um, I'd say I, Anna, bought from Candy and I'd tag her if she was in the group. I'd say I bought six of these waters and I'd say in my description I saw these waters for just 25 cents I didn't have to go to Walmart and get them for 68 cents the transaction went really well she was on time she was really awesome and she's beautiful by the way <laughs> and then I could post like a picture of our um of the transaction and say I got the item and blah 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 or and then other people could be like hey this candy person seems legit I'm gonna go buy from her or I'm gonna trust that you go meet her you know or it can go south. Like, say Candy wanted to sell me a pair of jeans and she said these are American Eagle jeans. They're really awesome. I just didn't want to wear them. You know, I didn't get a chance to wear them. To be, and then I go and the jeans have holes in them and not the cute kind that you can buy. I mean, like holes in the crotch and shit and she didn't sell it correctly or maybe I gave her the $20 or whatever it was and didn't even look at the item and I get back and I'm like well it's not even the item like they just got 20 bucks for me first of all that's your fault if you didn't check your item second of all that's shady that's shady candy <laughs> so those are the kind of ways they could go anyway that's just the background I wanted to tell you guys about what I did see Mmm, this is so good. Mmm. We ain't trying to waste no lettuce here. Mmm. So I saw a post. 
in my group, I make sure that I approve all posts before they're posted so that they follow the proper format and they're not sending any personal information out there for trolls. And one came through today. And it was a single mom and she was reviewing an like older couple, I guess. They're like in their 50s or 60s. Christian couple. And this lady, the single mom, she had actually written there's a, something called the Facebook Marketplace where people post a lot of things like Craigslist on. And it was a 2005 Jeep car. And I was like, oh, 2005 Jeep, that's like very similar to my car. It's like, that's at least six to $7,000 car, okay? My car, it goes in the Kelly Blue Book, which is a car estimating product. And anyway, it, at $9,000, okay? So I know that this car is a nice car. Well, if you get it from a nice person, right? <laughs> or I'm not the one buying the car. Anyway, she wrote a review and it said, I was talking to these guys about buying this Jeep. I wanted to check it out, you know, and I wanted to, you know, negotiate a price on it. And as a single mom, girl, you're taking a chance, right? You're taking a chance already because you need to make sure that that car is safe for your little one. But she's also a broke single mom. And so this guy wrote back to her, I guess it was a couple page, like elderly couple, and they have a page that's shared, I guess. Um, and they said, you know, since you're a single mother, you know, if you want the car, why don't you just have the car? He said, we just want to get rid of it. We don't need it. We have our own car. You know, the only thing that I can see and I can prove that you'll need are back rear ba bearings on your wheels, which should cost like $400, $600. So he was like specific on what was going on with the car. He said, this is my phone number, this is my address, which she like scribbled out and stuff. So it wasn't like public to everybody. And he said, you know, God was telling me that there's a single mom coming that needs my help and I need to do what I need to do to help her. And so I guess him and his wife discussed this and they said if she won and they, she liked the car, that they would just give it to her. I think they were asking 5,000 for it. And they legit signed, went to the DMV, signed the title over to her. She got to test drive it. She got to see the history on the car. You know, she got to check to see if it was stolen or everything first. They just went through everything with her. And she got a free car. Out of the goodness of somebody's heart. I said, wow, girl. I said, that is such a blessing. I'm so proud to have that review on my page wow so i'm i'm very interested to see how it works out for her now there could be something more than the bearing wrong and they could have gave her an old report i don't know i wasn't there i just saw the messages and i saw the pictures and everything she has the car <laughs> it looks nice in my car <laughs> But I'm rough on my car. <laughs> like, oh my god, you guys. How kind is that? Maybe they have money from retirement. I don't know. But that is so kind. There are people out there that do that, though. Like, legit. Obviously, I just told you a story. Mm. These are my favorite. The kettle cooked chip, 150 calories, and oh my god. You guys, like, I looked at this girl, this single mom's Facebook page, and she had the cutest little daughter. Wow. Well, I'm gonna just, just so happy for her. Really happy. And I really pray to God that that car is sound and it's going to get her where she needs to be. And not cost her an arm and leg to fix. But let me tell you, I just got my car fixed. I remember that was $800. And that was very similar to what she's going to have to fix. But $800 versus a $5,000 car, you know.
I cannot tell you how good this is. It's really funny I'm eating this right now. Because I legit didn't eat breakfast till 10. And because I was at work, I was just really busy this morning. I was busy all freaking day. In meetings like all afternoon. Didn't even get to eat my salad that I made for lunch until 3.30. It is now 6 o'clock and I'm eating again. <laughs> I mean, it's all in my calorie allotment. So I was going to skip it because I was just a little bit hungry, not a lot hungry. But then I was like, oh my God, but a Caesar salad is so good. And then it's a pretty light dinner. Oh, this one's black cherry if I didn't specify. This is a good salad. Yeah, you guys, people are good people. I mean, there are good people on earth. There really are. Oh my god. Y'all, this salad's gonna take me half an hour to eat because it's so big, so I'm not gonna keep you here the whole time. But, like, I've been eating for 15 minutes and that salad ain't gone nowhere. <laughs> But I just wanted to pop in here and share the salad with you and share my story. And let y'all know, the next couple of weeks you might see a lot of cooking videos and a lot of you like that. Some of you, you'd rather see my mukbang. But I'm moving, as you guys know, so the next time you probably see a mukbang is, unless it's pre-recorded, is gonna be after I move. Um, honestly, when I move, it's gonna be like a mess for a while. So bear with me while I'm moving. Y'all can get me to the 2,000 subscribers so I could do my giveaway. You guys, I really think it's gonna be an awesome giveaway. Mm. But I really have to think about this. Because I don't want people joining my channel just for the giveaway and then disappearing. I watch who comments. I watch who subscribes. I watch who's peeking in and out because they don't like me. 